Hello, hello to all the amazing people of YouTube. The Neomer here with another Gladiator Guild manager video. So yeah, we are having a little bit of an issues. Like first the the Hollow Mountains uh, like kicked our ass, and then uh, well, uh, some kind of beast Yeti or something killed our uh, Gladiator when we were farming up, and now we have a spider in the mountains, which scares the hell out of me. Like, it has a very strong melee attack. It has a ranged attack as well, which uh, sounds really bad. And then to make things even worse, well, it summons a several small spiders, which also, well, make me really, really, really afraid. Uh, so what's the best, best plan here, I wonder? Well, hmm. I know we can freeze the enemy. How many people can we actually take? Seven. Hmm. I would like to do the spider, but if I go and do the spider and if it doesn't turn out the way I want, whew, I'll have a lot of making up to do. So one of the things I'm like actually considering is to just send in like one or two dudes just to see what the fight's like. I want to see like what are the small spiders like basically. That's what I want to see. Some several sp small spiders. So I would like to <laughs> put uh, somebody in who's just gonna like die so we see what's up. So. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go to the Gladiator Market and we're gonna buy a Scout. I don't wanna pay too much for it though. Uh, somebody who's gonna be able to both survive some ranged damage. Well, a Knight might be a good idea 650 for a scout well seems a bit steep but well we're gonna have some discounted gladiators soon so maybe let's wait for that there we go and now we're gonna get a scout okay well that's a good plan so what's a scout well when you play on a permadat mode if you start the fight then uh I don't want to surrender because I think that's kind of cheating and cheesy. So I'm going to sacrifice a gladiator to the to the spider here. I'm going to send him to die and well, he's going to yell back to us. The little spiderlings have like, I don't know how much HP. Okay. No. Hello. <laughs> I did not plan for this. <clears throat> so. Splatter Cut the Butcher will be our scout here. My gladiators aren't going to love this, but let's do it. <laughs> I hate spiders, I'm not sending my gladiators in there. Where did this thing appear from? Well, that appears to be very true. Well, but we have to know what we're dealing with, so we don't lose people. So we found a brave, brave soul who's gonna find out what the spider is all about. Well, it should survive this hit. And then, well, this one it will not survive, but hopefully the spider summons some little spider links and we can see what they're all about. Well, go, go, splatter cat. There we go, let's fight and I'm gonna slow it down to like a very small speed to see what happens here. Okay, so I can see the abilities here. This thing is fast. How many seconds passed? He didn't do anything yet. Should be like summoning spider links. Hmm. Let's see. Epic fight of epic proportions here. Yeah, I didn't summon the spider links yet. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, now it's gonna do it. Okay, that's the ranged attack. Okay. Ooh. Well, good thing I tested this out because. You have to find some way of killing this thing. 
Ja, ja, wel. Ah, wel. Oké. Zo, het seems like de spider. Icicle burst shoots out a burst of icicles, dealing a total of 506 damage. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a lie, because it clearly did not do 506 damage. Any more. So, not sure how I feel about that. Total of 506 damage. Why did it deal so much more than? I mean, it killed the it killed our dude with like over 1k health in in one shot. So we would not have a lot of fun with this group. And still, I did not find out what the spiderlings do. And I would like to find out what the spiderlings do. Let's update the shop here. Let's see. Ugh. All the cheap ones are like. Oh, I have an idea. What if we get some mana assassins? Well, this priest is like only 180. Welcome to the team. And who else? So we need at least two people, I'd say. <laughs> oh boy. Wasting money for some decent scouting, I guess. Let's get that one as well. Mm. So I hope if I spread them out, the spider will not one-shot both of them. Okay. We are feeding the spider. <laughs> <laughs> I, wanna, I don't want to go with my main team in until I know what I'm dealing with. So I'm going to put one priest like all the way up here and one like here. There we go. Well, I don't think that shield's going to help you much. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see. So they're like level 7. Okay. Melee attack hits an enemy dealing 76 damage, deals 50% higher damage to frozen enemies. Okay, can't be, okay, okay. So they have a lot of HP, but they don't do a lot of damage. Still, this one's totally not true. It dealt way more than what it says. Okay, now we're just gonna get my lead, right? Well, not if we run away, right? No, come on, run away. Yuck. Okay. 1.1k on that, like, swing downwards. Whew, so what do we need? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> problem is, if I take a knight, the small spiderlings will trigger its block and then will not be able to, like... This must yeah, yeah. How much damage does my... Well, we have a pretty decent archer. 800 damage. So, every second... Every second it deals like... 1.6k. Well, not really, but almost. So, let's say every 1.2 seconds, 1.6k. So, it's gonna take like... Well, 12 seconds to kill the spider. And well, this lasts 4 seconds, so... Yeah. We'll need some meat. Or 
we could use some um, we could get another archer well actually with invigorators that's gonna be way less so the only thing I'm really worried about is like the icicles it has four second cooldown 506 well my archer has like 10 times that is there 10 icicles i don't think there's 10 icicles can we do it with this group here if we sacrifice the orc dude now there's only one way to find out And after a couple of seconds, well, after pretty fast actually, after half a second, our archer will be like pretty beefy already. And this dude, he can survive the swing. You know what? Cargo to the Skull Smasher. You'll like, uh, you will uh, grab the attention of the big spider. I would be much happier if I had some more, uh, if I had another archer maybe. Hmm. I'm a bit worried, I'm a bit afraid of the small, small, small uh, spiders. But they don't really hit that hard though. Huh. <clears throat> I might get overwhelmed here. That's what I'm worried about. We cannot tell people to like focus the small spiders because they are not there when we spawn in. Uh, <clears throat> so what if we don't take the Cyromancer? So what if we just send a Berserker in to like play with a big spider? I don't know. Necromancer. A necromancer can raise the small spiders. That could be nice, I guess. He can easily kill the small spiders. Well, not super easily, but if we get buffed a bit. You know what? I'm gonna try this. And if this group doesn't do it... 1.7k though. That's a lot. It's gonna two-shot him. How fast does it swing? Oh, really fast. Yeah, he's not gonna survive for much for for a long time. So what I'm hoping here is that he goes for the spiderlings. Nine point nine K. You know what? Let's try. Let's try. I'm happy with how easy the spiderlings are. Okay, let's try. <laughs> Whew, famous last words. Oh, we can actually also like give ourselves some nice items. So that will help a lot. So let's see here. Let's see here. Who gets what? Well, I want to give intelligence to, to these dudes. So they'll have way more intelligence. There you go. Or actually, what if we give them agility? Do we have some kind of agility potions? Well, I did have, but I don't see any right now. Those are like... Well, we could buy some, I guess.
Let's buy some. You have to find some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. Stamina. Direct damage. I don't see anything super useful here. Well, another intelligence one, which we might as well buy. Let's update the shop here, I think. <laughs> another intelligence one. Of course, there's a bunch of intelligence ones now that I need some other stuff. Silver Axe increases strength by 26, agility by 4, intelligence by 4 points. Okay. Dude, I really need... Well, I guess no intelligence things. Um, no, I mean agility. I could always give it archer sting. Let's see. No, I don't have pure agility items like at all. Well, we have that dagger. We have that dagger. How much does the cooldown go down? 3.44. Nah, okay. I guess we'll just go in here. Oh, intelligence and agility. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let's... Uh, yeah, let's get more slots. There we go. I mean, what does... Agility even do for you, right? Oh, that. Uh, now I remember why was that important. Okay. But for the big dude, the spider, doesn't really matter, does it? Let's see. Cooldown 1.31. I'm even trying to reduce that. Nah, that's just silly. Wait, wait. I'm doing stupid things here. Uh, let's see. You. Fine, fine, fine. Well, mostly fine. It would be cool if this one had a little bit more HP. Okay. Guild. Orc. Berserker Hut. Okay. Upgrade. Upgrade. Okay, cool. So, do we have any HP items here? Well, not really. Let's check the market out. Now we can go with golden gloves, I guess. There we go. <laughs> if we wipe, I'll have no cash to rebuild the team. And that's not even that funny. I don't know why I laugh. There you go. That's a lot of investment. Um, I mean, I could do that, I guess, and keep them like way in the back. But I really, really want to kill this spider. There you go. So hopefully that's enough to survive all the icicles. Blocks a melee attack. Ugh. Yeah, he's not a very good blocker. Okay. Well, hopefully the priest can keep him alive. And these are like, ah, they're fine. They're fine. I guess let's put that back where it belongs, kind of. Do we have any more of these rings? No. Well, then you can get some agility, I guess, and intellect as well. Hmm. There you go. Direct damage or effect damage against frozen da targets. Okay. Alright. Melee damage. Oh. Melee damage against frozen targets. Um. No. I want him to be nice and beefy. Priest. Well, having a very intelligent priest might not be a bad idea, actually. 
Yeah, restores 900 health to a friendly gladiator. That's a lot of health. That's a lot of health every 2.4 seconds. How much stamina? 550. Ooh, that costs a lot. Mm. You know what? I'm not investing enough into my priests now that I think about it. Hello, priest. Okay. Uh, do we have any stamina items? Not really. I sold them all. But, like, 720 stamina. Okay, that should keep you going for a while, right? Okay, okay. We should definitely invest into some more priests. Priests seem like an amazing thing. That's so much extra HP on somebody. Hmm. Give strength to get a blessed buff, which increases their main stat by max three stack. I don't want you to bless. Oh, does these two like are these two like different? Okay. Well, I think now with this really strong priest from the get-go, we should be fine. And these still increase like insane amount. Like this one increases by 165 and this one by 146. Okay. How's the HP pulls? Mm, Alright, I guess. I just hope icicles don't hit people with very low HPs. Icicles should go for him. Okay. Well, you're gonna get that. You're gonna get that. You're gonna get a stamina. Okay, that's fine. You you can get that. Although you're not as important. Uh, Archer. Well, Archer, you should get some damage. Some strength. Uh, that's not a lot, actually. Let's give Archer some HP. I want Archer to survive for sure. Let's give Orc some HP as well. <laughs> I'm so afraid of this fight that I'm really overdoing it, but I don't wanna I don't wanna vibe here again. Okay. I will. I will. Whew, my gladiators aren't going to love this, are they? Well time for a big spider thing. <sighs> the hardest the hardest one enemy we fought so far, but I think we have a good thing going here. Okay. So. We can put him like here and he goes. And then Archer can go like down here. Gonna put one Invergator. One Invergator will buff the Archer. Uh, why are we even doing it like that? Let's do it like that. There we go. Okay. One aggregator, you buff the archer, and after that you can go for the orc, that's fine. And the other invigorator, you buff the priest. There you go. And after that... You know what? What's the cooldown on that ability? 3.17 seconds. No, that's fine. Just, just do the priest, and after the priest, you can do that one. So, you're doing archer and then orc, and you're doing priest and then the necro. And, well, of course, you should just freeze the dude, so he doesn't do any damage. Uh, okay, priest, uh, focus the orc, shall we? And then the archer. There we go. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, he's shielded. Okay, Archer starts shooting. Good. Yeah, Archer's just gonna rip apart that thing. 
Okay, here come the small archers. Okay, there come the icicles. And well, each one deals 500 damage as we expected. Okay, now the orcs like one-shotting spiders. Okay, well, this fight going well so far. Going well so far. We have a really strong team. Okay, I overdid it a bit, but <laughs> I was really worried. And here comes our spider, yay. <laughs> Okay, cool. I'm so relieved. So we got this fight out of the way. I do not know where you find these gladiators. They are miracle workers. Thank you, guild owner. This was a huge undertaking. They'll probably have nightmares for the rest of their lives, but they finished the jobs. Well, I'm just gonna take some gold. Thank you very much. Because, well, actually, I'm really low on days. And, well, fight did go well. And... Hmm... That's a lot of gold though. How much for these 40? Let me see. 40 of these cost 1.6k. You know what? Let's go for gold right now. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And you leveled up. Well. I actually want some mace wielders. I think they are better. But I don't know. This one is better for like, yeah, I, I want some mace wielders, but for now, let's see, do you need intelligence at all? What's that cooldown on long X attack? Nah, punch, no. You know what, I'm just gonna give you some HP. There we go, now you're my main tank here, okay, cool. Well, until we get a knight, that is. Um, let's see, do we have a proper knight here? I don't see one here. You are on a discount. Hmm, another priest? Priests seem very good. Priests, priests seem very good. Or is one really good priest just enough? Like, that's a lot of healing. I have a smoking orc. Oh boy. Let's update the shop and see. Well, there's a priestess on this count. I wouldn't mind another priestess. Yeah, sure. Let's have another priestess around. So, if fights are looking nasty, we can bring a priest in. Uh, ugh, broken ribs. Another Siremancer might not be a bad idea either. Eventually, I'll want a Siremancer with like six shields in front of everything. Well, if I would be just starting out now, I would buy a level 1 Siremancer and just give it like, just HP. And that's it. It doesn't need anything else. You just plop it in front and nothing can kill it. And yeah. But now we have to go for one with like a whole bunch of intelligence, which doesn't really do much. There. There's a level 10 one, I guess. I wish you could buy a level 1 gladiator still. Okay, let's update once more. Oh, there we go, a knight. Zierski. Eh. What's that? While well, health of this gladiator is below 70%, gladiator gets 45% bonus to strength. Well, that's not bad. It's a bit expensive though, isn't it? Yeah. 
You know what? Let's just sit a bit. Let's buy some items. I still need some of these rings. Oh, actually, we are kind of full on things. I don't see any mace wielders though. If I saw one of those, I could pick it up. Wait, are we even able to buy mace wielder orcs, fire tower, taming hole, hunter cabin? We can. Hmm. We just didn't get one offered. Uh, Zierski again, okay. Fit and powerful, each 30 max stamina gives the, these gladiators one strength. Okay. Shouldn't that be like... 40 extra strength? Every time that gets healed, that strength is increased by 10%. That's really interesting. This one is a killer. This one is a killer. Really expensive killer though. Well, we could invest in that, I guess. Just not the way I like to play. Mm, let's see the archers. What's that? I'll get this burning agility is increased by 40%. How do we get him to burn though? And why are these slots not filled with all kinds of juicy things? Mm. Yeah. I wanted a good invigorator. Somebody who doesn't lose agility. What's the minimum on that too? Mm. Mm, let's reset once more. Okay, here's a mace fielder. With the reduced agility, which I'm not super happy about. Uh, what's that? Zierski the giant again. Game's like teasing me a bit here. I'm also wondering about these dudes. You know what? I was doing some thinking and I'm really undervaluing the the fire tower gladiators. Uh, let's buy like five of these. Whatever. Let's get one of these in our team. Well, are you any good though? Well, not really, <laughs> not really, but you should be cheap because of that, right? Yes, you are. Let's buy one. I want to see. So you scale off strength and intelligence. What's your main stat then? Burning, ooh, shoots a fireball. Okay, setting burning a total of 304. Hmm. I have an idea here. Let me see something. That's 800 damage over 5 seconds. Takes 2 seconds to pull off though, but... So I'm thinking this is really good for AoE. So I want one of these around. Twenty more though. Ah, that's super expensive. So we start like like that with nine hundred HP. That's a bit sketchy. You know what? You're gonna sit around a bit. But I'm happy with what I see here. That's a lot of AOE damage if you're doing a lot of enemies. So, yeah, anyhow, let's return these rings to my priest. Ok, 
Okay, do we have any other item for the priest? Not really. Eh. Mace Wilder. Oh, that one is kind of broken. I did want one of these, which... One intelligence. Each 30 max stamina gives this gladiator one, one intelligence. I'm starting to get some really good perks. Should we go for this? No, it has less agility. Ugh. Um, priests. What's that? Okay, necro. Well, is my necro like broken? No, it's not. This one is. So I could get a normal necromancer here. Mm. Do we have like execution time of 0 0.2? You do. Okay. Well, agility. Mace attack, execution time. It does go off agility, but cooldown 1.2. 1 1.35. Uh, you know what? Let's get one of these. Let me see something. So, if I switch all the items... Ah, right. Okay, how much are you expensive? Not really. Okay. Okay, well, let's continue playing. Um, I have some ideas what I want, but I'll need some more resources to do it. So I would like him to be the frontliner because this, I think it's an AoE melee attack, mace attack. And well, it doesn't scale as good as his, 13 and that's like 10, but this knockdown, Nick's knockdown is much, much higher. Much, much longer. This one is like, what? 1.83 and this one is... Yeah. And there is quite a big cooldown as well. Uh, quite a low cooldown as well. Which can go down to 0 0.75, which is like really interesting. So, problem is it has a minimum range. I got destroyed by, by, by Mace Wilder, so when you get destroyed by something, you should try them out. Anyway, let's see what we have in the arena. Many versus one. Mm. Well, if it's an archer, it's probably a bad idea to go against it. Yeah, it is a level 74 archer as far as we remember it. So... 1.5k damage every 0 0.5 seconds. That's really scary. How much does my archer do? 800, like half of that. Mm. So how long can he survive? He can survive for like, what, 7.4... No, that's just silly without a knight, isn't it? So he can survive for like 3 seconds. Well, with a priest maybe a little bit more. Could try, I guess. I mean, our archer will do a quick work of him. I'm just a bit worried somebody else might die. But we should we should play out our fights and not run away. Okay, you interrogate her and you. Invirugate the priest, I'd say. Well, you 
you can freeze her down, that's fine. Oh, we have another priest. Uh, yeah, sure. You heal him as well. There we go. And does the Pyromancer, like, knock down people? Well, time to find out. Well. It kind of pushes back. Okay, well. Okay. Yay, 10 of these. I actually need those a lot. Okay, cool. Priests did their job, so that's nice. Okay, well, <laughs> a little bit slow start to this one, but uh, we did kill a giant spider. Mm. I'll need more of those, but I want to wait for the discount and then we'll just buy a whole bunch of stuff, I guess. Horn beast hurt again. The horn beasts. My spellcasters have discovered an interesting specimen up on the hollow mountain. Oh, a curious you want those as well? To be for the dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, but, but it's located in horn beast territory. They won't tolerate my necromancers performing rituals near their herd. Clear them out to make way for us. Okay, well, they don't have that much HP, so... Yeah, no problem. We already fought this and it was mostly going fine. They are a bit spread apart, though. Um... Let's just take some HP here. Okay, well, Archer is the main way to deal with this, right? And well, you, you can target that one. And you, you can scuffle with this one here. So you should kill that one, and I should kill that one. Okay. And, well, let's take an Invirigator. And that should be it. Let's fight. Well, he didn't do his job. <laughs> Lucky enough, our orc has like 1 million HP. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. There you go. Maybe we should put him closer then. <laughs> good, good. We will begin the ritual before more can wander over here. Yeah, have a great time, I guess. Uh let's get that, that, and so this was like an easy fight. Okay, blind fight. Okay, uh Do your worst. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Okay, let's do two invirigators and necro, of course. Uh, Sirenmancer, Priest, there we go, well, that's our basic team really. Okay, let's uh, log the team and see what we're up against. Whew, I'm not too super happy seeing these, they're level 7 though, so... That's not so much damage, 400 or so, this one though. Okay, well, kill him first. Uh, you can... You should go for that, I guess. No, just go behind, we don't need you. So, you kill the, the hunter. Priest. Um... Priest, you should focus him, okay. Invigorator, uh, one of you go for the archer and then the orc, I guess. The other one go for the priest. 
And then the necro, I guess. There we go. That's good. Archer, you have your work done for you? You do. So just kill the hunter and we should be fine. Okay. Okay, the necro fears the hunter. That's alright though. Yeah, the archer kills it before it can do anything really. Yeah, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yeah, let's see. Well, Ring of Mana, don't mind if I do. Right now, my, my composition is like very mana oriented now that I think about it. Ooh, another gloves. Yeah, that's certainly better than the helmet. And then, well, you dudes need some more rings. There we go. Mm, yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, we're gonna have an item discount. Well, time to have some fun. Let's create new battle choices. Uh, doesn't really matter. Let's go for like... Fell free versus free sounds fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, let's buff the archer. You make sure archer doesn't die. Oh, actually. Who has the most HP? Archer has 4k. Okay. There you go. That dude's level 19. Um... Uh, Two second execution time, 700 damage. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, kill them first so they don't knock back us and then do the art, do the thing, I guess. So you are healing the archer, right? Okay. Well, that's not good. Okay, it's fine, I guess. It's fine. This game is so volatile, like... I feel so OP and then how did I even lose that? <laughs> anyway, we're gonna buy some nice items here. Mm, let's see. Stamina and health. Well, those are not bad. I'm starting to get more appreciation for those. Let's get some more of these. These are actually pretty good for the setup we are running. And we should start using these to get some levels though. Even though... Mm. Direct damage or healing against blast targets is increased by 50%. I can get that. There you go. Bless somebody and then heal them, right? Makes perfect sense to me. Okay. Uh, Iron Helmet. Who needs strength? Ooh, well, we just said we're gonna get some HP, right? Okay. Strength and agility by 15 points. Well, the archer is pretty decked out already. But we already need more, always need more of those. Uh, that one, not a huge fan. Although that's not bad for a priest. 440 stamina and some intelligence. Yeah, sure. Sure. And there we go. Uh, that one is like the other way around. Yeah, sure. They are on discount. Okay. And then a shield would be nice. Let's get one of these. Uh, Archer, oh, you are decked. So if I give you a bow, how much HP do we have? Well, answer is not enough. Okay. That's for our future priest to be, I guess. Let's update the shop. Mm, I always want more of those. Basically, I'm overbuying now if I lose a gladiator so that I can equip another one. Knockout gloves. Melee attack knockouts enemy for free for five seconds. Cooldown 12 seconds. That's really interesting. It's really interesting. So that's for the night, I guess. I want it on discount though, it's a bit expensive right now. It 
Intelligence and agility. Yeah, sure. Another ring. Cool. So now my invigorators are up and running. They have a little bit of agility, which doesn't really help so much, to be honest. But they are broken to the point of these beliefs, so... Mm, I'm gonna get that, but I'm gonna stop here. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, we have enough to pay the gladiators, that's good. Okay, Arena, should we start try the Hollow Mountain again? I guess we should, but I'm gonna make a cut here and, well, check in for tomorrow to see how the Hollow Mountain Arena goes. In the meantime, uh, if you're enjoying the series and my struggles, some likes to like keep my morals high would be pretty cool. And if you enjoy the channel, of course, subscribe so you know... You can find me easily and well maybe put that notification to like pop out when i make a new video so yeah and uh, in the meantime have a wonderful day thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye